Hey everyone, Chad Kroll here. Today we're going to be installing operators in Kubernetes. Uh, the specific operator that we're going to install is the Prometheus operator and the Grafana operator. Prometheus is used to scrape metrics off of your cluster, so you can find CPU and RAM utilization, for example. And then Grafana is used for visualizing those metrics. So they have Grafana dashboards that are created to help you visualize things like CPU and RAM utilization. So if you'd like to follow along, there's no setup, no prerequisite required. You can literally just go to killercoda.com and spin up a brand new Kubernetes cluster and get going and follow along right with me. So we'll choose the Kubernetes 1.25 uh, playground. And then once that starts, we'll adjust things here to uh, make sure you can see better. And so first things first, we're gonna add the Bitnami repo for access to the Prometheus Helm charts. We're gonna be installing the Prometheus operator via Helm chart. Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes, so it allows us to install multiple Kubernetes resources all with one Helm install command. And the chart that we're installing is within that repo at bitnami forward slash cube dash Prometheus. So we'll run kubectl or k for short, get pods, and then we'll use the dash w option to watch as our pods come up. It's gonna create all of the Kubernetes resources for us, and a lot of them have an init container, and init container is when you have two containers within one pod, one is going to run a job before the other one starts up. We see an error there, but that'll get resolved. And now you see that container, that alert manager container is now running. And now we see the state metrics now running as well. And they actually the Prometheus server is up and running, the node exporter and the Prometheus operator. And we'll just do control C to uh, get our prompt back and then we'll clear the screen. And now that we have the Prometheus operator installed, let's go ahead and install the Grafana operator. Before we do that, however, we will go ahead and customize the values file for that Helm chart. A lot of times we wanna make customizations to how our Helm chart is installed. So a values file is how we do that. And we, we create these overrides that will override certain values within the default Helm chart. In this case, we're gonna modify one value within that Helm chart, and that's the service type. So we're gonna change this to node port uh, to be able to access the Grafana dashboard via a node port service. And once we save that file, we can pass it into our Helm install command with the dash F flag, and then use the chart that's located in the repo at bitnami forward slash Grafana dash operator. And much like we did with the Prometheus operator, we can take a look at the pods and watch them as they come up. And we notice these pods start with Grafana, so Grafana-deployment, Grafana-Grafana-operator. And it looks like the Grafana operator pod is up and running. And now we have the uh, deployment pod, which is terminating again, uh, because that init pod already ran. And now it's uh, terminating that pod and creating a new one within that same deployment. And now that that's running, and we have one out of one containers running within that pod, we'll go ahead and control C to get our prompt back and we'll clear the screen. And because in our values file, we specified a node port being used for the Grafana service, we'll go ahead and see what uh, node port it was assigned. So we'll run kubectl or k for short, get services or svc for short, and then we'll see that the only service that's a type node port, which is the Grafana dash service, uh, it's at node port 32762. So what we can do is we can copy that and in the upper right-hand corner of our screen, we can go to the hamburger menu there and then select traffic slash ports. And then we can paste in the uh, port that we're using for our node port service and then click on access. And so that will open the Grafana application in a new tab in our browser. And according to the documentation, the uh, username is admin and the password we have to retrieve from a secret within our Kubernetes cluster. So we'll go back to our cluster. 
and we'll echo out the string password, and then we'll get secret. The secret name is grafana-admin-credentials, and then within that secret, we'll use JSON path, which is a way to parse the output of that uh, secret. And we'll, we'll output the value that's in the data.gf underscore security underscore admin underscore password value. And then we'll base64 decode it, and then we'll output it to the screen. So we'll copy that value and then uh, go back to our Grafana tab and then paste that in as the password and click on login. So once we get logged in, uh, we won't have any data, so we have to create a data source. So we'll click on data sources. And for the data source, of course, we'll choose Prometheus because we have the Prometheus operator running. And then we'll go down to where the Prometheus operator URL is, which is the Prometheus service that's running in our cluster. So we'll go back to our cluster, and because we have the services already listed here, we'll locate the one that's for Prometheus, and it's just called Prometheus-cube-Prometheus-Prometheus. And so we'll copy that, and we'll go back to the Grafana tab, and as we know, with every service in Kubernetes, it's automatically assigned a DNS name, and that DNS name is the name of the service, dot service, dot cluster, dot local, and then the service is exposed on port 9090. So we'll choose 9090. And then uh, actually before the service is the name of the namespace. So prometheus.default.svc.cluster.local is the full DNS name of the service. So then we'll scroll down all the way to the bottom and click on save and test. And we notice that our data source is now working. And now that we have a data source, we can go ahead and create our first dashboard. And you can either create a dashboard from scratch or you can import a dashboard. To import a dashboard, we just click on the dashboards icon on the left-hand side here and go to import. And we can either import it via the dashboard URL or ID, which we can locate uh, on the Grafana website at grafana.com slash grafana slash dashboards. And we can see a list of uh, dashboards that other people have already created and which we can use. And so we can click on node exporter full and we can click on copy ID to clipboard. And then that'll be the ID that we uh, input into Grafana here. So let's go back over to our Grafana tab and paste in that ID, it's 1860. And then we can click on load to load that dashboard. And so once we got it loaded, we can scroll down and choose our data source that we just created and click on import. And now that we have that imported, we notice um, all of our graphs and, and uh, information that we store in our dashboard is right here. And we notice that uh, actually in our cluster, the CPU is quite busy. Uh, we're at 92.5% and the system load seems to be pretty heavy as well. So let's say we wanted to dive deeper into uh, some of these metrics. So like on the CPU basic, for example, we could click on that uh, graph and, and click on view. And then we can get that graph in a full screen mode here. And we see all the data is kind of crammed into the right-hand side of the screen. So let's change this to uh, refresh every five seconds. And then we'll change the last 24 hours. We'll change that from the last 24 hours to the last one hour. And now we can see the, the graph uh, a little bit more filled in. So just to recap, we've installed the Prometheus operator. We installed the Grafana operator. We were able to pull up the Grafana service via its node port. And then we were able to load a Grafana dashboard and view that dashboard uh, within Grafana.